Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Wednesday. Not much to look at in this picture this morning. Here's a tropical wave coming across the island, starting to feel the effects of the strong surface trade winds in the eastern Caribbean, which is de-amplifying it, and as a result, some of the convection is waning. But there's an upper low over here to the west backing away, so this will have to be watched as this gets into the western Caribbean. Though it looks like the bigger threat may be this behind it. Two waves kind of got conglomerated into a big cyclonic circulation over here, some scattered thunderstorms, but not much with it. But when this whole thing drifts west into here, may have to be watched. You get a big cyclonic circulation in the Caribbean, you can start building heat, and we'll have to watch this. But right now, not a significant or immediate threat. And you can see the old front over here near Bermuda and off the southeast U.S. coast. It tried to form a little bit of weak low pressure, but as expected, not too much of a significant threat of this front won't be causing any significant tropical problems. We'll be watching for the second front to come down later this weekend, but right now not a big deal. Now if we look over here towards Africa, this is a problem, and I can tell you right now this could be a problem because this is the first wave I've seen so far this season that has increased in convection more than 24 hours after emerging off the African coast and developing a circulation. And it's got a little bit of dry air coming off with it, but it's also got a big wave behind it, so there's moisture coming in behind, and this isn't too big of a dry burst. And most of the time you do, a sign of a strong wave coming off is a dry burst coming in to its north side being um, dragged off by the wave circulation off the African continent and dry air will be with it on its way across but it shouldn't be as big of a problem as some of these other waves that got completely dried out. This one has more of a chance. If we take a close-up look at it, you can see it's developing a very nice mid-level circulation over here and this is actually very impressive. If we look at the Windsat Pass, this is the African coastline right here here's the wave and these are rain flagged wind barbs over here but you can see that the wind set is seeing a very nice little circulation developing with, with this thing at least at the low levels and check out what the European does with this it takes it into the Eastern Caribbean in 10 days and develops it into a tropical cyclone and the reason why is the pattern aloft in the tropics you want ventilation and here in years like this the tut upper trough up here sorry my cursor is a little hard to see on this map but the tuts up here further northeast than normal. Normally you have a tut extending all the way down into the tropics bringing a lot of westerly wind shear into this area of the tropics most of the time although you do get breaks because storms of course do come across long track storms but most of the time you have the tut down here instead it's weaker and up here and its tail end splits off into upper lows that back away and start ventilating this area you get a ridge in between and bam tropical development right there so you can see that the ventilation pattern is getting going on the European model. The GFS is not as impressed, has an open wave with a little bit of a low here, but it doesn't do much with it as it comes this way during the ensuing days. But this is the same thing. If we look at the upper pattern, tut further northeast than normal, upper low backing off, ridging in between, and bam, you get you know, a nice little reflection at the surface, although the GFS doesn't develop it, and you can see that the wave axis isn't quite aligned with the upper high because it does not show development and therefore isn't pumping heat into the atmosphere as much. So we'll have to see how this works out. And by the way, this is the brand new GFS. As of 12Z this morning, they replaced the NCEP site, they replaced the old GFS with the new one, brand new one based off of the parallel GFS that we've been watching over the last few um, months and this is a higher resolution model and I wish I had saved the images from the old 6C run because this is the updated 6C run with the new model but the old model on the 6Z had an insane parade. It had this as a tropical cyclone, it had this as a tropical cyclone and from our from day 10 through day 15 it had three storms on the map constantly from day 10 through day 15. The old model went out with a bang. The last run ever run on the old GFS and it went out with quite a bang. It was something to see. A little bit scary, but the higher resolution run isn't as impressive. Uh, this is the Canadian model. You can see brings this, winds it right up into a tropical cyclone here in six days, develops it right here in three and brings it out in six. A slow mover, if you notice it takes the European 10 days to get it over here, which isn't so which isn't so slow, but it takes the models 5 days to get it to here, 10 to get it here, but 5 to get it here, and it's already here. 5 days to move 
20 degrees longitude, which is a little slow, and that's indicating to us the slow trade winds in here, and that's allowing us to get big cyclonic circulations like this and waves like this coming off Africa because if you move them slowly, you allow them to amplify, you can get curvature of the winds, you can get convection to go and pressures to lower, and this is a very conducive pattern for African waves to develop, and we're nearing Cape Verde season, and we're going to start seeing these try to pop, and that's what the GFS was seeing when it was showing that train of storms on the old run this morning. And we're going to start getting upward motion going in the Atlantic. This is the SOI, Southern Oscillation Index, for the last few days. You can see it's bursting positive again. Big positive numbers coming out of this. This is the, da the daily values. These are the 30-day running mean values over here. And when the SOI is bursting positive, that means there's increased surface easterlies in the Central Pacific, stronger trade winds. That implies uh, net sinking air in the eastern Pacific and when you get sinking air in the eastern Pacific the natural response is for upward motion in the Atlantic across the way and the models are finally starting to pick up on that here's the GFS you can see bringing the MJO right back into the octants that favor upward motion in the Atlantic and if you remember the forecast a few days ago just a few days ago was taking it into this area and I condemned this forecast as wrong because with the SOI this positive and the pattern in the ocean the way it is you cannot focus heat in this area because there is no heat to be focused all of it is focused over here so as predicted this model has shifted its forecast and is now going right back to the areas that favor upward motion in the Atlantic in one to two weeks and that's why you're starting to see stuff like this on the European and the storm train that we had on the GFS because the upper pattern is maturing as we get into the heart of the season and we start to see things line up. All the ingredients that we've been talking about all preseason long, all early season long are starting to come together for that big burst of storms that we're forecasting to happen during the heart of the season and get us up to one of those hyperactive seasons ranked as one of the top five possibly active of the past hundred years um, ranking up there with 2005, 1995, 1933 in big company with those years and so all these things are starting to come together the pattern is ripe so I hope everyone's ready for the season I'll keep saying that because people need to be ready these are gonna start popping and coming across the basin and aiming towards land here's this one already crossing islands and nearing the Caribbean threatening this area of the world so be ready. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.